Danny and welcome to BHP Bikes. Today it is, what day is it? Oh, I think it's a Sunday. I think it's a Sunday before or a Monday that we all go back to work, or everyone else does, as we say. And uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've only got now a few more days left with the Africa Twin, so I'm out riding as much as I can. And the weather conditions are not great. They're very slippery out. I was out in my kit car earlier and uh, I mean obviously I encourage a little bit of movement on the rear on that but on a bike I don't want any movement really so uh, yeah it's very slippery so it's going to be quite a sedate ride out um, I'm planning on going to Goodwood motor circuit and we're going to see what's going on around there and uh, yeah just uh, generally just have a, a wobble about really but it is blisteringly cold uh, it's showing us five degrees out there, but I think the wind chill is probably around minus one, maybe zero. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be very warm at all. But we'll just uh, we'll just ride and see what 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 happens. The uh, the Africa Twin is doing a grand job. Yeah, so we're heavily into 2021 now. Hopefully, the pandemic is uh, wrapped up. Soon. What the hell is going on here? Oh yeah, ambulance, fair enough. I'll give you that. A well spotted driver in front. There's been quite a lot of ambulance. Oh, God, that wind. A lot of ambulances around recently, so... Uh, Let's get a visor shut because it is quite cold today. I've probably mentioned that once or twice. Um, we've bought another house and uh, we're going to um, going to be doing renovation and whatnot on it. And uh, yeah, we've got loft conversion, extension. I've got to build a big office and studio for me in the garden. Um, which I'm quite looking forward to uh, and then uh, yeah so it's going to be quite hard to get out on the bike and also I haven't even I haven't even got a bike at the moment um, the Africa Twin is uh, a sensational bike but I don't know whether I'm going to have one yet I don't know I don't know if I've got the money to that's the other thing um, so I'm going to be sitting tight and uh, and just basically just playing it by ear really and seeing what, what, what the summer brings. We have to buy another GP run around to get me through the summer months I will, that's no bother. Um, and then uh, yeah I'm not, I'm not too fast. I, I've, I've, you know, I've had brand new bikes, I don't mind having a few years on some GPs and, and maybe I'll make that into a thing, buying the best banger for your buck maybe, I don't know, whatever. But yeah so uh, I'm hoping that 2021 is a good year for bikes and, and obviously for this channel. Uh, we had a lot planned but 20 just escalated into nonsense. Um, and uh, GoPro stop recording. Uh, well anyway, let's stop me waffling, let's just ride and see what the weather take where where everything takes us. Should we go and have a uh I don't think I've ever taken you around here because we always just disappear off up to Whiteways which you might still do today but yeah that's Arundel up there the, uh, that's the Arundel Cathedral I really should know this, it's not only live a few miles away but I'm going to take you around around this town and we'll, uh, we'll have a see we've got a castle here as well, Arundel Castle which you've often been able to see oh, go on uh, actually, we can go this way. Uh, no, we'll go this way. We'll go this way. We'll go this way. So yeah, we're going to turn right up here. have a little drive through
quite a stable bike, really, even at low speeds. It's very well balanced. So it's 20 through here, so this is a, this is gonna be a nice challenge. It's a town, see, a historic market town. So all the buildings here are just beautiful. Just beautiful. My solicitors is just up here on the right somewhere. So a town. So that's not a cathedral, because cath if you have a cathedral, you have a, it becomes a city. But then that's cathedral centre. I don't know. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's uh, it's a very pretty area. Lots of old stone buildings. Lots of slate. Lots of thatch. This building here on the right is where my solicitors is. I spent a lot of time there, <laughs> for one reason or another. And then, uh, I'm gonna go left, so that's the castle up ahead. Never been there, my wife's been a few times, but me personally, have never been. It's gonna be an excellent day out. And then this is the, uh, the town centre. Very good night out on the lash if you, well, if you're allowed to. Uh, I've been drinking here a few times. And the, the Red Lion there is quite a good live band pub. Uh, ooh, let's go around here. And then we're going to go, I think we're going to go right. We're going to go right here. Can't really remember. And the good thing about Arundel is you can dump your car off the park there and then just come back in the morning and get it. Uh, yes, this is Arundel. Very nice. Very hard to do 20 mile an hour, I can assure you. Quite a bit of money here as well, chaps. This is what I spend most of the time doing on the uh, the uh, uh, the Africa Twin. It's just kind of rolling about to get lost, and uh, yeah, I just love it. It's like I love buildings and architecture and all that sort of nonsense I don't know why maybe I love everything that's built by man interesting anyway it's getting a bit philosophical oh look Jaguar someone's got the golf around for tea in the garden <laughs> is that ambulance coming should we give him a quick flash Come on. You not coming? No. Ah, oh, there's no one in it, that's why. Anyway. Right, police car. Anyway, so we're now going up towards Whiteways. Check your shoulders. Oh, look at Whiteways today. Around. God, it's cold. So here we go, the cruise control is working lovely, fourth gear at 29 mile an hour, which is 27 mile an hour by actual. So the one problem I thought was this, was the cruise control was rubbish, is actually, I now love it, so. Awesome! Also, look how stable this bike is. I've got not more our hands on the handlebars. And, uh, you know, it rides great. I had a few bikes where I couldn't do this for some obscure reason. And, um, but yeah, it's very, very easy to ride. Like, it reminds me, it reminds me heavily of my old Triumph Explorer, which is just, you know, I love that bike. And I, and I, I do believe I'm gonna love this bike. 
And as, I, as I'm as I'm filming this video, I've started editing the videos from before, and uh, I'll say um, I'm slow at editing videos because my PC has finally shit itself. The graphics card is just not up to the job of doing the editing. So I'm kind of filming on these videos, and then when my uh, when my uh, when I finally buy a new graphics card. I will uh, be updating and editing frantically and getting the videos up. So it's going to be a bit of a delay. So you're probably going to get this in March, um, which hasn't helped me with, with Honda because I kind of think they wanted it to be a lot more. But we'll see how we get on. Now, this junction here always catches me out, but we are good. For the first five years of living down here, I used to overshoot that junction because you just never expected to be there. And this road here, it's horrible because all the, all, the, all the mud runs into the road and you get this kind of gravel muddy patch in the middle and even in a car it's squirmy and wiggly as hell and it's you know I've had I've had some moments through there I'm not going at breakneck speeds just bearing in mind most of my cars all my cars are real drive so uh, yeah it can go it can go very wrong like now that there's all that crap in the middle and then I'll go over here you know so you really can't be paint, pinning it well you can but you're just increasing your chances of death This corner here, where you see now, is a corner I very nearly had my first accident on a bike. I was uh, planning on meeting someone, uh, Alton. Was it Alton? I think it must have been. And uh, I said, yeah, yeah, I'll meet you there. I was only half an hour away and realised actually it's like nearly an hour away. So I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll make it up. And I was on a Kawasaki Versus 650 flipping flying and I got to that corner and it was like oh oh dear oh dear and somehow I managed to keep the bike on the road and it's all a little bit squirmy and a little bit kind of heart and mouth kind of you know dropping stomach kind of situation and uh, and then it was like literally after that I was like yeah maybe I'm not quite as good a rider as I thought and then, uh, and then later that evening, I was coming home, and it started to rain. This is in the middle of a British summer, remember? And the uh, I lost it on another corner on mud. And it's probably why I've got a bit of a <gasps> moment with, uh, with 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 mud on roads because that terrified me so much. So I then went out and bought the KTM 525 EXE, I think it was. And uh, to, to, it's like, I've got to learn. I've got to ride mud. I've got to get on the mud. And that was where my green lane in passion um, transpired from really so uh, yeah that's why I uh, I've gone to green laning and then and I think green laning has saved my has saved my skin a few times I mean don't get wrong it's got me in a bit of trouble I, I wasn't doing YouTube at this point when I had the KTM um, but yeah I, I, I was off-road and I, I came tumbling down a hill and smashed into a tree and oh it was pretty uh, pretty bad it would have made a good YouTube video but I want to do YouTube then for some reason but anyway so yeah it's uh, we have lots of stories like that uh, one thing I'm trying to get my kids into is trials riding and uh, it's going to be something I look forward to doing and uh, again, I think I want to go electric just to keep keep the neighbours happy. The new house we've got, it's got quite a big garden, so I'm hoping just to set up a few little things in there for the kids to play on. And just, you know, like, try and live what I'd like to live through, through my children, really. I, my parents weren't interested in really giving me any sports or hobbies or anything like that, really. And that's probably why I'm so addicted to everything now, because I'm just so desperate be scared of dying and not having done everything. Uh, all right, I'm coming through, mate. Are you gonna let me? Yes. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. 
So yeah, the other bike I'm interested in riding actually is the Royal Enfield Himalayan. I quite fancy something like that, and I'm thinking that may be quite a nice, nice summer bike. And it's quite cheap to buy as well. So we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna see what see what see what the future brings. Who knows what I could be riding? Oh, it's 43. Who knows what the future could bring? Oh, look at that house over there on the hill. That's a beauty. You don't normally see that because of the trees. I wonder what it's called. I'm going to go and have a Google of that. That's a beauty. Proper little manor house. Oh, 30 mile an hour. It's quite hard to do in third gear. Yes, yeah, well done. Oh, they often have a uh, a camera car down here, so <laughs> trying to do it. It's kind of a bit essential. 30 mile an hour. Oh, a lovely garage there, mate. Should have called this channel BHP Houses. Anyway, maybe, maybe I should set up another channel where I just walk around and go, Oh, look at that house! What a beauty! What's that in there? Nice little leg. Taking the, uh, the kit car back out this week. Got an MOT to do on it. That's going to be cold. <laughs> Damn it! Over 40, over 30 again. So hard on these lanes. You don't want to be going much faster, but ah, yeah. I can't feel my fingers I can't feel my fingers It is fucking freezing I can't feel my fingers What are you not doing? Ah, there we go Ooh, ah, God it's cold Where's the exhaust? Oh. Right, let's go and see a good wood. Tinwood, Tinwood Vineyard. They keep bees as well. That road, Tinwood Lane, unsuitable motor vehicles. It's actually quite a good green lane, but I've not done it for some reason. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that next time. Interesting. Maybe not today because it's cold. I'm just not going to get any warmer, so hmm. we probably won't do that lane. Ah. Left then, not straight over. Ding. It is cold in the world, it is cold in the world. Ah, motor circuit. Should we go and see what's there? Is it even open? Is it even open? It is open. Let's go and have a look. Should we go and have a look? Good word. Should we do some revs in the tunnel? Is there anything happening? 
Anything happening at all? Don't look like it. Is there anything out on track? Ah, oh, cyclists. Cyclists on the track. Oh, fuck that. Let's go and look at the aeroplane, shall we? Ooh. Spitfire. I don't really like, I like riding my push bike and I like mountain bike but riding around Goodwood Circuit does not appeal I want to see some power but what I do like about Goodwood is you can just turn up Yeah, for Goodwood, isn't it? Really? Think about there's been nothing going on at all, really. Ooh. Caution, mud on road. We know it's winter. God, it's cold, isn't it, eh? Oh dear. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's been a good ride. The last half an hour or so has been absolutely bitterly freezing. <laughs> but not gonna complain. Still nice riding weather. Still nice riding weather. Oh, 30 mile an hour in sixth gear. About 1900 revs. Slow. Yeah. Yeah, so it's um yeah I've enjoyed the ride. It's been good fun. But we're getting to that time of the year where uh, it's uh, it's cold and I'm not sure if I can uh, can keep riding. Well I may not be able to, but we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. All right, I think that's going to be the uh, the end of this video. Sorry, it's a bit bit rambly and a bit whiny. Just wanted to go out for a ride, and it seems rude not to put the camera on. So yeah, so traction control going ballistic through those bumps. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Ciao for now.